Hey guys, it's me again, back with another tutorial. This time I'm doing a fun, glittery look. Uh, right now we're starting off with the eyebrows and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade. Next, I'm gonna brush them out and just go in with a little bit more, fill in all the hairs that need to be filled in. I do bleach my eyebrows, so I like to go with more of a blonde look. So here I'm just brushing them out. I'm also going in with the MAC Cosmetics in Pain Chili Ochre. Okay, so we're using the Anastasia Amrezy Am palette, I think that's how you call it. And I'm going in with the first shade, which is like a vanilla, it's called Legend. And I'm going to just put that all over the eyelid. And that's going to work as the transition shade. Next, I'm going in with caramel and putting that on the crease and blending that out back and forth. This look is really pretty simple. It's only a couple shades, so very self-explanatory if you look. I'm pretty sure anyone can do it. The only part that's a little bit rough is the glitter part. Here I'm just picking up some more caramel and just going in with a 224 and blending that out. I also dipped into the legend a little bit more just to um, smooth out any edges. Now I'm going in with deep plum and that's just going to help define the crease even more and give me a little bit of kind of a cut crease but not really because I'm going to blend it out with the caramel color. Okay, going in with the Clearly Liquid Lit uh, Glitter Glue. I'm going to pack this all over wherever, exactly wherever you want the glitter to be is where you're going to put this at. So I'm pretty much going over a little bit above the eyelid, only because my eyelid, when I open and I don't put anything on top of the eyelid, then the glitter just goes all over and it really looks crazy. So if you have eyelids that are small, go ahead and do that. Now this glitter is super cute. It has different colors in it. It is from Violet Voss and it's called Megan. And this glitter is unbelievable the way it shines. It sparkles so cute. You're going to love it. So pack that over, all over the eyelid and just go very slowly because it might have a little bit of fallout but with the glitter glue it really doesn't let a lot of glitter fall off because everything is just going to adhere to the glue. So pack gently and then put in some more wherever you feel like you need extra. Okay, so now I'm going to define the crease just a little bit more with that uh, iridescent purple now and a flat and an angle brush. So I'm going very, very gently, barely putting anything on there. You just want to make a little bit of a crease, a cut crease, just so you can see exactly where the glitter stops. Then you're going to go in with a 217 and go back in with the caramel and just um, blend that out a little bit more. Always blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going in with a 224 and just blending any type of harsh lines that I might have created with the caramel. The 224 is pretty much a key into blending every color out. Going in with House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive, I'm going to use Red Cherry in number 74 and these are Wispies. 
they're pretty natural so if you like the natural look I would definitely recommend these wispies and as you guys know eyelashes are the hardest thing to put on so if you can use a tweezer it would really really make your life so much easier so try using a tweezer if you can with your fingers With this look, I'm not using any eyeliner because I feel if you put eyeliner on this, then you're really going to defeat the purpose of the glitter. So whenever you have glitter, you kind of want to stay away from the eyeliner, especially with this chunky glitter because if we try to put eyeliner on there, it would look like a serious hot mess. So any fallout that you have, just go ahead and clean that off, wipe it off with a wipe or a makeup remover. Now going in with telescopic, I am putting a couple coats on my top lashes just so that everything blends in pretty good. You can definitely skip this step if you want. Now I am just going to put some concealer and just highlight a little bit using my beauty blender, my favorite thing in the world. Now going in with the banana powder in Benai, the banana Benai powder and a Sigma brush, just um, putting that all over the concealer just to mattify everything. Now I'm going in with the iridescent purple again and this is for the lower lashes and a pencil brush and just smoking that out. Not too smoky, just a light iridescent color that you want there. Coating the bottom lashes a couple times. You don't want to forget those bottom lashes. And I, since I did say I like the blonde um, eyebrows, I'm going in with Anastasia's Caramel Brow Gel. And this just gives my brows a tinted look, just so that it can look even more blonde. Alright guys, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful glittery look and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.